This video was created to discuss options of genetic testing for pulmonary hypertension. In the Genetics 101 video, we talked about basic genetic facts. In this video, we discuss how genes contribute to pulmonary hypertension. You might want to review the Genetics 101 video before watching this video. The heart and lungs are intimately related. The heart can simplistically be thought of as having two sides, a right side and a left side. In healthy individuals, blood returns from the body to the right side of the heart. Blood is then pumped into the pulmonary arteries, which lead to the lung air sacs. As blood flows through the arteries next to the lung air sacs, oxygen and other gases are exchanged with the air we breathe. The blood with oxygen then returns to the left heart via the pulmonary veins and is then pumped to the body. Pulmonary arterial hypertension is a rare disease caused by narrowing and loss of the pulmonary arteries or blood vessels that lead from the heart to the lungs. This causes the blood pressure in the lungs to be higher than normal and over time may lead to problems in the ability of the right side of the heart to pump blood into the lungs. There are many different causes of pulmonary hypertension. For example, exposure to certain medications as well as heart defects such as a hole in the heart may cause pulmonary hypertension. But in many cases we do not know the cause and we call it idiopathic pulmonary hypertension. In some families, there are multiple members affected with the disease, and it is clear that the family has a genetic form of pulmonary hypertension. For other families, there may be only one person with pulmonary hypertension, but the family may still have a genetic form. It is possible in these families that other members had pulmonary hypertension in the past, but were not correctly diagnosed. For approximately 20% of individuals with idiopathic pulmonary hypertension, the cause of the pulmonary hypertension is genetic, even though there is no known family history of it. A mutation in one of several different genes can cause pulmonary hypertension. A mutation in a gene called bone morphogenetic protein receptor 2, or BMPR2, is the most common genetic cause of pulmonary hypertension. Approximately 70% of people with a family history of pulmonary hypertension have a mutation in the BMPR2 gene. About 20% of people with idiopathic pulmonary hypertension have a mutation in the BMPR2 gene. The other genetic causes of pulmonary hypertension are rare. There are some genetic causes of pulmonary hypertension that are not yet known. What is the risk of pulmonary hypertension if you have a BMPR2 mutation? Not everyone with a BMPR2 mutation will develop pulmonary hypertension. BMPR2 mutations increase the risk of pulmonary hypertension, but do not guarantee that a person will ever develop pulmonary hypertension. However, we don't yet know which person with the mutation will go on to develop pulmonary hypertension or at what age it will develop. Therefore, we know that there must be other factors besides your genes that matter. For instance, adults are more likely to develop pulmonary hypertension than children. Women with BMPR2 mutations are also more likely to develop pulmonary hypertension than men. About 42% of women with a BMPR2 mutation will develop pulmonary hypertension at some point in their lifetime, compared to only 14% of men with a BMPR2 mutation. This also means that 58% of women and 86% of men with a BMPR2 mutation will never develop pulmonary hypertension. We can test a small sample of blood to look for mutations in the BMPR2 gene and other pulmonary hypertension genes to try to identify the genetic cause. Genetic testing typically takes 8 weeks to complete. Testing is most likely to find the genetic mutation in a person with the disease. Therefore, we strongly recommend that someone who has pulmonary hypertension be the first person in the family to have genetic counseling and testing. There are three possible results of the genetic testing. 
positive, negative, and a variant of uncertain significance. A positive test result means that we found a genetic mutation that is the cause of the pulmonary hypertension. The most common genetic cause of pulmonary hypertension is a genetic mutation in the BMPR2 gene. 7 in 10, or 70% of families with more than one member with pulmonary hypertension will have a positive genetic test result. 2 in 10, or 20% of people with idiopathic pulmonary hypertension who do not have a family member with pulmonary hypertension will have a positive test result. A negative test result means that we did not find a genetic mutation that is the cause of the pulmonary hypertension. Genetic testing may be negative because the individual does not have a genetic form of pulmonary hypertension, and their pulmonary hypertension is caused by something besides genes. Genetic testing may also be negative because the person has a genetic mutation that causes pulmonary hypertension, but it was not detected by the test for some reason. Finally, the genetic testing may be negative because the individual has a genetic mutation in a gene that has not yet been found to cause pulmonary hypertension. The third possible test result is a variant of uncertain significance. This means that the genetic test found a genetic change, but it is unclear if it is a disease-causing genetic mutation or a normal variation that has nothing to do with pulmonary hypertension. If a variant is found, a genetic counselor or geneticist will discuss the steps to be taken to try to better understand the variant. Children, parents, and siblings of individuals with a pulmonary hypertension gene mutation have a 50% chance of having the same pulmonary hypertension gene mutation. This is because pulmonary hypertension is inherited in an autosomal dominant manner. Dominant means that you only need to have a mutation in one of your two copies of the gene in order to be at risk to develop the disease. People with a genetic form of pulmonary hypertension have one gene with a mutation and the other copy of the gene has no mutation. Therefore, when they have children, they have a 50% or 1 in 2 chance to pass on the copy of the gene with the mutation to that child and have a child at risk to develop pulmonary hypertension. They have a 50% or 1 in 2 chance to pass on the copy of the gene without the mistake. Let us use this picture as an example. In this picture, the mother has a BMPR2 gene mutation and has pulmonary hypertension. The father in this picture has no BMPR2 gene mutation and has no increased risk to develop pulmonary hypertension. Their child has a 1 in 2 chance or 50% risk of inheriting the BMPR2 gene mutation from his mother. In this example, he did inherit the mutation. In this example, the child did not inherit the BMPR2 mutation from his mother. He has two copies of the gene without the mutation, and therefore he is not at an increased risk to develop pulmonary hypertension. If genetic testing identifies a genetic mutation that is the cause of a person's pulmonary hypertension, that person's family members can have genetic counseling and genetic testing to determine if they have the same pulmonary hypertension gene mutation and are at risk to develop the disease. Family members will need a copy of the test report to ensure they get the correct type of genetic testing. If a family member is found to have the genetic mutation, such as a BMPR2 gene mutation, that causes pulmonary hypertension, this does not mean that they will definitely develop pulmonary hypertension. It only means that they are at an increased risk and should have a screening echocardiogram with a cardiologist. Remember, more than half of people with BMPR2 mutations will never develop pulmonary hypertension. If there is a known pulmonary hypertension genetic mutation in the family, anyone who tests negative for the mutation is extremely unlikely to develop pulmonary hypertension in the future. This can be a relief to those family members. Furthermore, if those family members are negative for the mutation, there is no risk for their children to have the mutation. What you don't have, you can't pass down. In rare cases, a mutation causing pulmonary hypertension is not inherited, but starts brand new in the individual. 
We see this most commonly when children are affected with pulmonary hypertension without any other reason for developing pulmonary hypertension. In such families, this can be extremely helpful to know because the other family members are then not at risk for pulmonary hypertension. These parents have a very small chance of having another child with pulmonary hypertension. Why might you or your family want to know if there's a genetic cause for the pulmonary hypertension in your family? We believe that early diagnosis of pulmonary hypertension will improve outcomes, although this is not known for certain. Knowing the genetic cause for pulmonary hypertension in your family can be used to test other family members who may have the same gene mutation. Knowing who is at risk to develop pulmonary hypertension will also help to make sure that they receive treatment as soon as they show symptoms. In addition, some but not all families might have members of the family who want to know if there is an increased risk of having a child with pulmonary hypertension so that they can use this information to make decisions about family planning. Again, not all families are concerned about this since most individuals with BMPR2 mutations never develop pulmonary hypertension. On the other hand, there are individuals who may not want to know if there's a genetic cause for their pulmonary hypertension at this time. They may feel concerned about having to bring that news to their family and how it will be received. We are not saying that you must have genetic testing for pulmonary hypertension, but we are here to provide you with all of the information and resources you need to learn about this option. If you or your family wanted to know about a genetic cause for the pulmonary hypertension in your family, this can be done with a simple blood test. Typically, insurance covers some or all of the cost of testing. We will determine what your insurance will cover before the testing is started. Typically, for patients with private insurance, the out-of-pocket cost will be zero to one hundred dollars. There are also options for genetic testing for patients with Medicaid and Medicare. Ask your doctor or genetic counselor for additional details. Some people are worried that they may be discriminated against if they have genetic testing. There should be no concern for individuals who are already diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension because the genetic information just provides an explanation for the cause of the pulmonary hypertension. Genetic testing for family members who do not have any symptoms of pulmonary hypertension is the only real concern. However, there are federal laws in place to prevent discrimination against people who are at risk for disease based on a genetic test result. Health insurance cannot be taken away or rates increased as a result of a genetic test. A genetic counselor or geneticist will discuss this information in more detail and make sure that you are protected from discrimination before you decide to have genetic testing. We know that we have covered a lot of complicated information. You may find it helpful to watch this again and write down specific questions to ask your doctor or nurse. Genetic testing is not for everyone and there are better and worse times to have genetic testing. Your medical team is here to answer any questions you might have or refer you to genetic professionals who can answer your questions and think through the issues.